I don't got a pencil, a pen in this book bag. Add it like 10 to the clip, to the look bad. Don't give a fuck if you piss, nigga. Yo, what's up, boys? This video, I'll show you how to edit highlights really, really fast. Like, it used to take me about 5 hours to make a 2 minute video, but now it takes me less than 2, sometimes only 1. And yeah, I'll tell you some tips and yeah, some tricks to use to edit faster so you don't waste a lot of time. And I'll give you some tips in general for editing. So let's get started. So, what I do is I first mark the song's keyframes. So this is, I'll mark three because I'm gonna use three for this video. This one. And that's the third, okay. So, if you want to edit really fast, make sure to use idents instead of cinematics. Uh, or, yeah, don't use both. Actually, you can use cinematics, but to wait wastes a lot of time and some people don't even like them. So I just used this ident, which was made by a friend of mine. He sells them for really cheap. I'll have his Twitter in the description after the video. Make sure to check him out. And yeah, then what I do is these are my clips, right? I cut it on the on the frame that the, the, he shoots the shotgun or the AR, whatever. I do that to all the clips. I don't drag them first, like, like, I just cut them. And yeah, I delete the first part. Let me do that to the next one. Right. So then, I have already marked my beat drops, right? So I just drag them into the song. And yeah, I cut it so I can put the other clip there. Okay, so let me do that. The last one as well okay so it doesn't have to be perfect yet so now that i'm gonna listen to the song again i'm gonna cut it on some spots i'll tell you guys so there's another beat drop here so i'm gonna make the transition here so it's synced with the beat drop so it's gonna be like that i'll add transitions later yeah don't worry <laughs> and let's do that to the next one as well here Yep, nice. Now I have my ident. Yep, I'm gonna make it shorter. I'm gonna speed it up actually. Let's see the video again. Choose the video. Um. I'm gonna make the transition here. Yeah, that's way better. So, let's make a small fade to the end. So now what I do for my velocity, this is like the, the main thing for the video. It's a really good trick. I go like, my velocity is 9 frames back, so I go 10 frames back. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I cut it. And then I add my velocity like I usually do. Not that. Mm. One, two, three, and nine. So I just press on this track and I copy it. I press Control C, Control C, and I go to the next kill and I do the same. I go 10 frames back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I right click, paste event attributes. So what that does is it copies, it copy pastes the velocity. So I don't have to do it again. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten. Yep. And let, let's watch the video. So you can do some fade transitions like that. It's a ladder, it's a ladder, it's a ladder. 
but have very really good transitions so i'll show you what to do if you already have transitions so say i got this transition right this one look it's 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 it needs 10 frames to work so what i do is i don't just throw the transition here i got 10 frames back 1 2 3 4 9 10 and i have the transition here so I, I then go to the next clip and I just start the other transition it, I don't need to do anything here so yep and let me add my other transition One, two, three, six. <laughs> this is gonna be from a pack and I don't want to lick it so I'm gonna blur it out so yeah let me pre-render it for you guys. Yeah, it's pretty much good. So let me add the the effects now. Mm. Glint. This one. Good. And this one so you have to cut it in the middle keyframe I forgot to say that um, so let's watch the video now let's see the final result So it's pretty much perfect. I, I love it. Um, so yeah, this is the video, boys. Before you go, make sure to follow me on Twitter. I'll have it in the description. I'm usually active there. So if you have any questions, you can either join my Discord server, which will also be in the description, leave a comment, or message me on Twitter. So yeah, that's it, boys. Make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment if you need anything. And yeah, see ya.